So this is a blind test on Kenny Hack with a gesso canvas uh, just to see if applying my uh, homemade stain to canvas will allow it to be better laser burned. I've tried this uh, gesso canvas before and never have had much luck of just the plain gessoed canvas straight from Hobby Lobby of getting anything to burn on it. Gonna try my wood settings at 5500 millimeters per minute and 80% power. Uh, 0.15 line resolution and we'll see what it does here. Let's see if it'll burn it. So going across the gesso right now, um, it's really not burning anything. No marks whatsoever. Let's move it over to the stain side. So far, nothing. So, the stain might not actually work on in a gesso. Uh, I've tried this stain over the top of other painted products, and the paint seems to keep the chemicals out of the material to where it just doesn't get into it and bond with it. And I don't know if that's what's keeping uh, the product from not working. But uh, so far, uh, gessoed canvas don't seem to work very well, even with uh, the stain that works so well with wood. And now we're trying the Kenny Hack with uh, the aging stain. At a slower speed, this is going 1,000 millimeters per minute, which is kind of a standard speed for a lot of products with these diode lasers. You, you Normally you can't go very fast and get them to burn in. And so far, where my stain is at, it is burning in a little. I wouldn't really say of any kind of quality that you could do a project with, but at least getting some result. Let's see what it does on the natural side. And as before, the natural side without the stain nothing so usable for diodes probably not so much if you have a co2 powered laser that can burn darker you might see an improved results where you could burn in on straight canvas with gesso um, and actually get it to burn into the canvas. Can't really say it's a great test for diodes as it just barely burned into the surface. But something maybe if you CO2 users out there, if you haven't had much luck on canvas uh, that's been pre-coated with gesso. Uh, make up a batch of this uh, aging stain, put it on there, and see if you can actually turn out some uh, positive results. It'd be interesting to see. So I realized when I did my first test, I hadn't really focused my laser in on this board. Uh, maybe that's why it didn't burn so well. Let's give it a try with uh, the laser a little more in focus. This is at the slow setting of 
1,000 millimeters per minute. Oh yeah, that's burning really well. Actually getting a pretty dark burn. I probably could actually speed that up a little bit. Let's go over to the bare gesso. No uh, aging stain put on and see how it does. I'm going to bet it doesn't do anything. Well, we're getting a few skips in there. This is down, like I said, this is running at the thousand millimeters per minute, I believe is where I had it last set. Yep, 1,000 millimeters, 80 percent power. This is kind of a speed with diodes that you normally burn bare wood at. Um, you see it's it's kind of burning in on the darker side. Uh, not much transition to where you could do photo quality work. But come back to the treated side. Definitely getting enough burn, getting transition to where a little more speed um, probably can do it. So now that I got my laser in focus, let's try speeding it up a little. Here's a 2200 millimeters per minute, 80% power. 0.15 line interval. Let's see if we can about double the speed over my last test and see what kind of results we get. So this here is on the treated side. Definitely getting some laser burn in. Just can't get my board positioned right. So, definitely hitting the black end of the spectrum to where if you're doing a straight silhouette image, it would definitely work at this speed. Probably even a little bit faster to burn in a black image. Um, the transition range, kind of questionable, uh, whether or not you could do a photo quality picture at this speed, but uh, it does seem to be able to get onto the black end of the spectrum. Let's try the non-treated side. A few specks here and there, probably just catching some uh, dirty spots on the canvas. This is kind of a throwaway scrap piece I found, uh, just to give it a try. Where it is burning there, you kind of can see a dirty spot, and that might be what's catching the laser light. So moderate improvement on canvas with the gesso paint over the top of it.